Hello, and welcome to part one of the three-part video series on installing Containerized Operations Bridge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plan for the installation of Containerized OpsB for the purpose of evaluating Containerized OpsB capabilities. Keep in mind that for a production deployment, most of the topics presented in this video are valid as well, but the recommended sizing and deployment architecture might differ significantly to account for high availability and scalability configurations. This video is intended to be used as an introduction to the process of planning for the installation of containerized OpsB for the evaluation of containerized OpsB capabilities. For detailed documentation regarding planning the installation of containerized OpsB, please go to the URL shown here. This is a view of the plan page in the Containerized Operations Bridge online documentation. The Containerized OpsB install planning phase consists of understanding the Containerized OpsB architecture from end to end, identifying the data sources to be integrated with Containerized OpsB following installation, identifying the Containerized OpsB capabilities to be evaluated, and provisioning the Containerized OpsB platform for the hardware, operating system, file system, database, and network file system requirements. Containerized OpsB's high-level architecture consists of Collect Once, Store Once, or COSO, which receives metrics, events, and topology data from various data sources and sends data to the Operations Bridge Manager, or OBM, Performance Dashboard, or PD. Vertica, which receives data from COSO. Business Value Dashboard, or BVD, which queries Vertica for data, then displays the data in reports. Third-party business intelligence tools can also be used to query Vertica for data, then display the data in reports. Event Analytics, which automatically correlates event data stored in Vertica. COSO, BVD, and Event Analytics run on a Container Deployment Foundation, or CDF cluster. CDF clusters provide a Docker and Kubernetes-based platform, which is comprised of one or more master nodes and one or more worker nodes. Even when evaluating containerized OpsB, it is strongly recommended that Vertica run on its own machine, rather than on a CDF cluster. Containerized OpsB data sources include Operations Agents, or OA, version X, where X equals any supported version. OA can collect metrics and can generate events when specific conditions are met. The Containerized OpsB Operations Agent Collector can pull metrics from Operations Agents. Operations Agents, version X, where X is greater than or equal to 12.14. The Operations Agent can push metrics to COSO via infrastructure management pack streaming policies. SiteScope. SiteScope can collect metrics and can generate events when specific conditions are met. SiteScope can push metrics to COSO via SiteScope streaming policies. Business Process Monitor, or BPM. BPM can periodically replay transactions between a user and a service, then measure response time. BPM can push metrics to COSO via BPM streaming policies. Real User Monitor, or RUM. RUM can measure response time between real users and services. RUM can push metrics to COSO via RUM streaming policies. OBM. OBM can receive topology, events, and metrics from data sources for processing, storage, and display. OBM can push events to COSO via OBM event forwarding scripts and runtime service model or RTSM topology to COSO via the Pulsar adapter and a data flow probe or DFP. Network Operations Management or NOM. NOM can collect metrics and configurations as well as generate events when specific conditions are met. NOM can push metrics to COSO. For more information regarding containerized OpsB architecture and data sources, please go to the URL shown in the lower right corner of the screen. 
This is the Containerized Operations Bridge Get Started page, which includes more information about Containerized Ops B architecture and data sources. Containerized Ops B provides three capabilities. One, creating availability, performance, and event-based reports using Business Value Dashboard, or BVD. Or, bring your own Business Intelligence Tool, or BYOBI, for instance, Tableau or Power BI. Two, automating event analytics and event correlation using Collect Once, Store Once, or COSO, artificial intelligence, or AI capabilities. Three, providing stakeholders with near real time data visualization using stakeholder dashboards, also known as BVD from earlier releases. If any of the data sources described in the previous slide are available for integration with Containerized OpsB during your assessment, consider evaluating Containerized OpsB's reporting capability using BVD. If a business intelligence tool is available for integration with Containerized OpsB during your assessment, consider evaluating Containerized OpsB's support for custom BI tools. If Operations Bridge Manager, or OBM, is available for integration with Containerized OpsB during your assessment, consider evaluating Containerized OpsB's event analytics capability. If your stakeholders have a requirement for near real-time data visualization, consider evaluating Containerized OpsB's stakeholder dashboard capability. For more information regarding Containerized OpsB's capabilities, please go to the URL shown in the lower right corner of the screen. This is the Containerized Operations Bridge Get Started page, which includes more information about Containerized Ops B capabilities. For evaluating the capabilities of Containerized Ops B, provision a platform that consists of one Vertica database server with eight CPUs, 64 gigabytes RAM, and a 225 gigabyte disk, one master server with 10 CPUs, 20 gigabytes RAM, and a 400 gigabyte disk, and three worker servers, each with 12 CPUs, 22 gigabytes RAM, and 150 gigabyte disk. When provisioning servers for production, you'll want to use the Containerized OpsB Interactive Sizing Calculator. For more information regarding Containerized OpsB hardware sizing, please go to the URL shown in the lower right corner of the screen. This is the Containerized Operations Bridge page for sizing the deployment, which includes more information on Containerized OpsB hardware sizing and provisioning. From this page, you can download the interactive sizing calculator. This is a view of the Containerized Operations Bridge sizing calculator. To get a more accurate estimation of system requirements when provisioning servers for production, please use this sizing calculator. It is an Excel-based tool with multiple tabs. You will find it helpful to refer to the online documentation for terminology before filling in data for your installation. When provisioning servers for the evaluation of containerized OpsB, all disk space can be allocated to the root file system, although this is not what we recommend for production deployments. For more information regarding containerized OpsB file system requirements, please go to the URL shown on the screen. This is the Containerized Operations Bridge page for directory structure and file system requirements. When provisioning servers for the evaluation of Containerized OpsB, install one of the operating systems identified in the chart on the master and worker nodes. Use the embedded PostgreSQL database, we will build a Vertica 9.2.1 patch 14 server, or higher patch version, running on RHEL 7.x or CentOS 7.x during the prepare phase. For more information regarding containerized OpsB system requirements, please go to the URL shown on the screen. This is the Containerized Operations Bridge page for system requirements. Containerized OpsB requires data sources to be at a minimum version prior to integration. This table summarizes the minimum version requirements and highlights some of the required hotfixes. 
For more information regarding data source version requirements, please go to the URL shown on the screen. This is the Containerized Operations Bridge page for Plan the Deployment Model, which includes a table showing version requirements for the various data sources. As noted on the previous web page, there are some hotfixes required for integrating Containerized Operations Bridge 202008 with OBM 202005, Operations Agent 12.14, and various other data sources. This web page summarizes the data source hotfix requirements. Please contact software support to get the hotfixes. If you are planning to deploy Containerized OpsB in a VMware environment, we recommend that the virtual machines have policies applied which prevent VMware vMotion while MicroFocus software is running on it. A slow vMotion on Vertica or CDF node VMs may cause networking timeouts between management VMs. This can lead to problems with the CDF cluster or MicroFocus software running on it. For more information regarding disabling vMotion, please go to the URL shown on the screen. This is the documentation page to disable VMware vMotion on an ESX ESXi host. Thank you for watching part one of the three-part video series on installing Containerized Operations Bridge.